Evening guys, want to come to y'all. I think I'm gonna put this one over on YouTube. This is about keeping good records. I had some people get ill at me this morning over in uh, over on Facebook because I I uh, questioned one of their posters. Uh, they were saying that if you bred a certain color to a certain color, the offspring would always come a certain color. And you could use that. It was a great way to tell when your your hen went from being fertile by one rooster to another. And I call bullshit on it. Well, that's fine because it is bullshit. And I'm going to show you the proof. Uh, now, this rooster we're looking right at right here is a half brown red and half yellow birchin. He just ate. He's stuck. So he's getting ready to go to bed, but I want to do this. There were six of these brothers. He is the only one of these brothers that come anywhere close to the color of the mama side or the daddy side. So, had I used that theory on being able to just use a color for my records, he would have been the I would have so assumed he was the only stag that I raised out of that mating because he's the right color. Where the real problem falls in at is the other five brothers to him look exactly like my Kelso file. Four brothers to him. Half brown red, half birchin. I got a YouTube video calling it my counterfeit durays or the duray file I made or whatever. Shows them. I talk about it. So the proof's right there. This is a full brother to them. What would have happened had I not kept good record books would have been. I would have liked one of them roosters and I would have bred him myself. to the Kelsos, assuming he was a Kelso. Or I would have shipped one of them for a Kelso. Had I used that method of, oh, this color, like his, like his chicken meals do. Oh, he, he looks that way, he's gotta be that way. And he got me, or, and then somewhere down the road here, somebody got a black chicken or a pumpkin chicken. May have been me, and it'd have been always oh, a throwback because he's out of that Kelso cock. Because I was assuming the whole time that that rooster was a Kelso instead of a brown red birchin. You see where I'm going? He still got brown red and birchin running through his blood, even though they red yellow legged roosters, red white legged roosters look just like him Kelsos. Their offspring are going to throw them genetics. So the proper way. To take care of things is documentation. That means records. If you're hen hatching, mark them babies from under that hen when they hatch because you slide your hand under there just like a chicken snake. Get them out one at a time and mark them at night. Okay? Put them back. In your record book, you document. If you're going to breed a hen and change cocks in the middle of a cycle, what you do is you document it in your records that you've done it and some of the eggs may be fertile by the previous cock. You do it on both marks if you're marking them different. You see what I'm saying? From one cock to another, it's going to have a different mark anyway, but you document it both places. That documentation is always going to be there. So, Three generations later, when you have an odd color pop up, it's not a throwback. You can go back and look through all your records have, if you've maintained them, and you can find exactly where that oops may have been. You see what I'm saying? Then you ain't got a green-legged sweater. Because that's all that is. All these throwbacks about 90 percent of 98 percent of them is because somebody used color for records oh they all come that color bullshit that is bullshit i just call anybody that tells you that has, 
I, my dad had a saying. Never argue with a fool, and you can't fix stupid. Anybody that tells you that, they're always going to come that color. You don't have to worry about it. He's got a, one of them problems. The deal was, he was saying something about a gray cock to an Albany hen, and when you change the cock, the beauty would automatically all come gray. And I said, no, because I had seen different in my life. Okay, I seen a gray cock bred to a hatch hen, though basically Kelso colored stags. They were red, yellow-legged stags. It was a yellow-legged gray cock. <laughs> bred back to a hatch hen. They all come yellow-legged red roosters. You know what I mean? They were good little roosters. That's the reason I remembered them. And uh, it was a cock was from jo Dr. George Scroyer. And uh, now, who knows what George Curry sent us? That was a cock. We lost the cock shortly after that, and but he told good stags. That mating turned out to be good. Way back when I was a young fella. I mean, a young fella. Anyway, I know that's bullshit. I've seen roosters that was, I seen a rooster one time that was seven eighths gray and one eighth black, and he was just as brown red as any pure brown red I got here. So never use color. Always get the documentation documentation rules the nation you will be able to look back 30 years if you'll keep your record books and figure out exactly where all them chickens come from and it is not hard it's real simple a toe mark and a wing band i don't recommend uh the old toe punches because they grow up that changes your mark also then therefore you just screwed your record books off so use a pair of scissors, split the web. When they get old enough for you to ban them, if you don't ban it day old, because I can't ban it day old. I know some good people that can. I can't. I, I have to wait for them to get up a little size on them, you know, at least so I toe mark and, and wing band. I'll, let, I'll toe mark them, then three or four weeks later, sometimes a month later, I'll come back and, and, and put the wing band in and, and write it and document it. So I have two forms of documentation. And anytime I have something, and we all have it from time to time, it's real simple. Just put it in your special comments out by it. Put a little star out by that mating or something and say, hey, you know, I had to, I swapped the, the cock. To this cock here, some of the eggs may be fertile by the previous cock. So that way, when you have that odd colored chicken pop up three or four, five, six, seven, eight years, or your, or your, or your, one of your customers does, he, oh, that's a throwback. No, uh, hold on. Let me look at my record book. You go all the way back as far as you can, somewhere you're going to find it. You're going to find where that could have happened. And more likely it did. Anyway, if you think that any of what I'm saying right now is BS, just look at my previous video. The one that I did on the, on the Dura file that I created. How I bred made my own Dura's or whatever. And you'll see those two Kelso looking roosters there. They're four brothers to this pumpkin right here. Had I been going to, according to pumpkin... According to breeding by color or, or record by color, he's got to be the only stag I raise. I would have either bred a half brown red, half birchin into the Kelso family, or I would have shipped a half brown red, half birchin to someone who would have got some black or some pumpkin stags. Keep your records. Documentation rules the nation. The guys, that's as good as it gets. If you'll keep good records, you'll thank me one day, even if you hate my guts. Even if you think I'm the biggest full of shit person in the world. If you'll keep good records, one day you'll say, man, I'm sure glad I kept them records. You know, because you'll be able to look back and find something you really was wondering about. Something odd, because it happens to everybody. That's all I got this evening, guys. God bless. I just want to try to help you guys. I just don't want to see you guys make some mistakes that... A lot of others make, and false prophets is the quickest way to... Bad information, number one, is the worst thing going on uh, in the rooster business right now on social media. Bad information. Bad information. You, if, it, you know, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. I mean, anybody in common sense knows you can't color, keep records by color. It don't matter. It's going to bite you. It's just sooner or later. It's like keeping a, a, a king cobra. It's sooner or later, you stick your hand in that damn aquarium, he's going to hang out, grab a hold of you, or a water mask. And that's what's going to happen. Keep good record books. You're going to thank me later. God bless. Good evening.